Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Nice to see I'm you again. Nice to see you again. So we're in a different part. We're in a different section today. Yeah, we are here. This is where we keep the foals. Uh, these are just turned one years old. Yeah. Uh, so this is where we keep the future. Yeah, this yeah. has to be like one of the best days to start the morning. Yeah. Just coming down, barn full of foals. They're all eating, they're all happy. And I see there's also a foal waiting us for us a yeah, little bit Yeah, we have down. a foal here, down here. Because uh, here at Blue Horse, we have our own vets and they're checking the, up on the foals. This one has been, had a little little incident earlier, so just, just checking that everything is yeah. okay. And falls will be falls, so falls I guess you're always falls. monitoring yeah. and making exactly. sure they're getting exactly. up to, yeah. uh, they're staying healthy and uh, not getting up to anything too exactly. uh, too much fun when they're exactly. outside. Exactly. And so uh, maybe we can walk yeah, down, let's but go do how that. many falls do you have in this barn here? In this barn and in total, we have around 66. Okay. Uh, falls uh, in general. Okay, and what kind of ages are they once they are coming in here? They are from six months and so on uh, uh, when they come here from the breeders. Okay, yeah. I understand. So this is kind of the 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 ones you guys have bred, some that have been bought yeah. when they were foals. Exactly. And so this is really the the big selection. So you haven't gone through any processes yet of um, kind of assessing and either uh, selling or moving no. them differently. No. This is really the beginning. This is the beginning. We collect everything from we oh. breed and from what we buy. We we put it all in here. Yeah. And this is where it all begins. Yeah. And you were all already telling me um, yesterday that you go through different processes of starting to assess the horses even when they're foals. Yeah. The first the first time we we take a look we we take a look where now when they're about one year old and when yeah. we see them for the first time of course we look at them when we go on daily basis down here but the first time we really assess them is when they're one year old yeah but we don't make any selection there yeah. we're only looking okay the the horses has developed this way yeah yeah and i guess you start to get an understanding of the character of the different exactly. horses the type of movements they're already starting yeah. to have and 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 also all the character we have on a daily basis with the people who is working down here yeah. that are handling the foals every day yeah. because I think it's very important that we handle the foals already already from the beginning. Yeah, absolutely. But they all seem really friendly. Even this one was just coming yeah, up to me already yeah. and saying hello. They're all quite uh, confident, which exactly. is nice to see. Exactly. All all the foals are enhanced every day. Yeah. We, we tie them up every morning, so we make sure that everyone can eat uh, on their own. Yeah. And they're fed two times and they're tied up two times a day. Yeah. So they in hand every day by human. Yeah. So that's also one of the most important things. Because what is their routine? Right now they're in like a shed uh, box. Yeah. Um, but I do see that there's doors. So exactly. is there a section for there's them? A, there's paddocks and the, uh, outside and there's a field outside where they can go on the run and play. Yeah. But, but in the morning we tie them up, we check them all for sure scratches and everything yeah and then we feed them uh they can eat out here and then when they're done we're loosening and we open the door they're and they can be door. outside all day okay and then I in understand. the afternoon we feed and they usually when we start feeding here they're all coming in yeah then we can tie them up one more time close the doors ready for the check night. Yeah, yeah and check and everything is okay no one got hurt during the day yeah and then they can get loose and then they're ready for the night all right perfect maybe yeah. we can have a look at Yes. I'm pretty curious at how you guys go also assessing because I think it can be difficult sometimes uh, looking at a foal and trying to understand, okay, is the behavior normal? We already saw one foal before that was just stretched out, laying yeah, down. Yeah, laying In my and mind, I was already like colic, but yeah. of course with foals, it's different. Yeah, it was, they... just, it was just sleeping, was just tired, having, yeah. a, having a little nap. What we don't, when we look at the foals at this age, we don't look at, we don't look as much as the movement as, as we do as the health. Yeah. We really want to monitor the health and that the horse is healthy, the hoof is in yeah. the correct position. We're very aware that these, all these have a blacksmith regularly. Every eight, 10 weeks they come and check is the position of the hoof yeah. because it is, it is in this age you can do something really. Yeah. So you get a good foundation from the beginning. Absolutely. Sorry to interrupt, but if you're enjoying the content here on Horse World TV, then become a member and get instant access to hundreds of videos. We cover a variety of topics and disciplines, all horse related. So if you're interested, join now and access all the playlists and all the videos straight away. You guys are uh, busy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you have a very quiet patient, yes. which is nice to see from such a young horse. Actually, um, this one, he had quite a big wound on his leg okay. some months ago. 
So he's been treated for, I think, about four weeks. We had a bandage on him. Yeah. So that's actually the only positive thing about a wound or a damage to a foal is that we, uh, we, we treat them a lot and they get very, uh, they get very comfortable around yeah. us. Yeah, and I imagine <laughs> with foals that heal quick, kind of like children, like yes. they bounce back and... Yeah, you, can't, you couldn't really see this guy when he had the wound on his leg. We couldn't, we couldn't tell. He was just eating like normal. Yeah. But when we took him up, he wasn't really, he didn't show his pain yeah. anyway. So but, that must be tricky then, especially when you have so many falls to really be able to keep an eye yeah. out. I imagine it's yeah. a lot of work. Because they are, you know, they want to be in their herd. They don't want to show that they're the weak one. They don't yeah. want to be eaten by the big lion. Oh, so so yeah. they really try to, to hide if yeah. they have Act a- Act tough. Yes, yeah. they do. Yeah. So well, there we have, we have good people who all, every day go through all the horses and look at, at them individually. The daily workers here, they look for, they, they of course, they look at the the general appearance now this one is very relaxed yeah. like you say but very relaxed but, but <laughs> so oh here were the ears that's good because because one thing is the ears if someone comes they want them all to have a look to be yeah. aware that um that uh, what is happening yeah and um, and if one is not reacting like you said is this one sick does he have colic yeah and then you just need to to bear in mind, oh, is he reacting if I bang a bit on the wall or is there something wrong? Yeah. Does he keep lying? And, and our daily workers down here, they know the horses. So yeah, they also the natural know, behaviors. yeah, the natural yeah. behavior. So they're aware, we're aware, okay, this normally is the first one to eat. Now it's standing a little bit behind. I have to be aware of something. This is the yeah. first, this is the first part of the pyramid on, yeah. the, on, the, on the way to the Grand Prix horse. Yeah. And if everything is done good down here, we have a very good foundation to build on again. Yeah, mm. absolutely. And this is like when the next superstars are being made yeah, and exactly. it would be a shame yeah. for an injury or something like that to prevent a horse from reaching exactly. its full mm. potential. Exactly. But what we do when we, when we buy them is that they all have a clinical exam where we, we listen to their heart and their lungs. We have a look at the eyes and the general health. We have a look at the legs. Exactly. Like you said, yeah. to, to see is there anything we can do with the farrier. Um, so that's that's mostly where the veterinarians are involved yeah. at those six months of age. Yeah. And then, of course, if they do have any issues, if yeah. they have any swellings, any anything in their joint or any wounds or eyes or anything, then yes. they ask us to come and, and have a look. That's the daily workers routine as it is with the riding horses. It's the groom and the riders who have the check up down here. It's our, our groundsman who's checking the horses and and yeah. doing the work with the horses. Yeah. But we can show you on this guy, the wound. It's, yeah, it's really, absolutely. it's nice now, but we can just show you and- um, Should I hold him? Yeah. Uh, I can't imagine, coming? I mean, we have cameras here and everything. There's a lot of people and he's just so chill. I think yeah. it's a he. Yeah, it's yeah. a it he. Is. It <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah. He's very nice because, um, like I said, it's not nice when you have a wound, but-, but Yeah, because it can we, be quite difficult to we treat. Keep, if... We keep, I really think that it's important for them to stay with their friends and their mates yeah. if it's possible. So you don't take it, them away to treat them, you just do it here. I really try to, to keep them here, but this one, it was too big. So I had to, uh -huh. I had to separate him because he needed yeah. a big bandage for a long time. What? But then he's there on his own. He's next to another one. Yeah. But then he gets really happy when he sees me. Oh, really? Because I'm the only oh. one, well, not the only one, but I'm one of the, the people that comes to cuddle him. Yeah. So, so it's actually really nice for me because it hurts when he, I change his bandage. I have to inject him with antibiotics or yeah. painkillers. But, but they really, I really feel that, that when I, I come there and you know, they come to me and, yeah. and I rub them and then they know, okay, it, it's okay. I get a little rub and then, then you can change my bed. So he's got a so, special place in your heart now. Yeah, and I will remember this one yeah. when he's bigger and he's up there. Yeah. But, but you can see it's a couple of months since, but here is, is the scar. That's oh yeah, left. I see that. And, um, and it's still a little bit swollen. He's still yeah. swollen up here. And, and it was, I think it was this size and, oh, wow. and this wide and open. And um, it, just from playing, you think, or just from yeah. being outside and something happened? We have really checked everything, what, what has happened. Yeah. Um, but again, we used to say that, that horses, if there is anything, they can hurt they'll themselves, find they'll find it. I always say they're on and a mission of uh, suicide. <laughs> it's like you have to stop them every day from killing yeah, themselves. Yeah, and, and we have round, you know, round around where they go out and where they go in. So, yeah. so what he found, we, uh, we are not sure. Yeah. But, um, or, but, but he but found, he found it. it. He found yeah. it. He, he found, found it. Something. He found it.
Okay, mm. awesome. I'd love to. We were talking a little bit prior, and I heard there's a superstar in this barn. Yeah, yeah. We'll or at least it. some predictions. There are many. Yeah, there, <laughs> yeah, there, there, there are many so superstars. <laughs> but there is one particular who I've heard is going to the Olympics. Um, so it would be nice because I'm sure you guys start to cast a lot of predictions when you see all these falls. There's a, one or yeah, two yeah. that will always catch yeah, your we'll eye always a little go. bit. More. We have a little bit by employees going yeah. around which one will go to the Olympics in, in yeah. eight years and, or in 10 years and, and see if we, if we are right. Yeah, but I would love to take a look at the one that you guys are thinking is a, is a special one, a yeah. really special yeah. one. You can just follow me down see, here and yeah, see, see if we can find like. him. He's over here. I see if I can point point him out. Yeah, because there's is, a lot of them, and there's they're all a lot, a lot similar of, colors yeah, going exactly, on here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's the one standing here that's turning around now. Oh, this uh, one here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he wants to talk to us today. Yeah. But uh, but he is. Um, it's a Monte Carlo London time. Um, bred by one of our good breeders, Sturri Uno, also the breeder of Una Donna Unique. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we have very high hope for that one. It's and, a super fold. And what gives you that reassurance and what makes you think he's going to be something really special? Of course, the breeding. Yeah. The mother line, they have showed a lot of results. The foal as an individual, as we saw it when he was young, we saw yeah. the movement, we saw the, the first steps. And, and, and there, therefore, we have, have an, an idea that it was, would be a future superstar. And then, of course, the father, Monte Carlo, our own yeah. Monte Carlo. We have lots of high hope for him, and we have seen very many good foals uh, by our own Monte Carlo. And yeah. himself is a super stallion. Yeah. We really like to work with the Blue Horse. Has there been times where you think a foal is maybe not super special, and then in one or two years it's completely different? And it, it, it everything changes over time. Yeah. And then we have, have horses that have surprised us. Horses that we fought at the age of one, oh, this will be a normal, but fine good horse but maybe not the future superstar and then we see it one year later and then okay it ch completely changes our mind yeah and some horses also when you see in the three and four year old maybe the mo not the most spectacular spectacularly ones but they can still go for grand prix yeah and it always changes over time yeah absolutely and sometimes it's not <laughs> even about being spectacular it's more about being consistent yeah consistent and yeah. And, and for many of, of the horses riding horses the ability to ride them yeah they, if they want to learn if they want to be written it's much easier to make a grand yeah. horse yeah no absolutely <laughs> Falls represent so much like purity and fun and innocence and kind of so much like prospect for the future exactly, as well. Exactly. So it was so nice to see. I did have a question though. Yeah. Why is it that they have these collars around the, the neck? The, the collars is because we don't put helters on. Okay. Uh, and then we have we have these numbers on so we can know which one it is. Oh, because yeah, there's so many. Them. Yeah, there's so many. And then we use them to tie them up because we think it's important in the in the beginning of the life they're used to getting tied up and yeah. used to handle. So when they when we walk with them we can put a rope in them. So we use that to handle them. Yeah. So and I think it's actually safer because I know for a lot of horses that have like uh, pulling back issues, you can get these neck ones. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. And it's less damaging exactly. if they do end up pulling yeah. or anything like that. Exactly. So and we have found it super useful. And when, then when we take them up when they're older, they're used to getting tied up and yeah. they're easier to handle. Of it's almost like a collar for a dog. Yeah, exactly. Something like exactly. that. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, they're very sweet. And it's nice to see, they always have hay outside? They always have hay outside and inside, so they can always eat. And, and all the hay is made uh, from our own uh, groundsmen. So we really? make, yeah, we make everything here ourselves. I think yeah. they produced around 3,000 uh, uh, bales of hay wow. uh, last year. Wow, so you year. can sustain the whole property? Yeah, exactly on our wow. own. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. I feel like the whole operation is quite self-sufficient, even yeah. with the plant you have there that like, Recycles the poo exactly. and everything. Exactly. Like. Yeah, yeah, we use that to heat up our buildings and our offices and everything. Yeah. Okay, amazing. <laughs> They're having yeah, they fun. Yeah, having a very much fun in there. Super. Okay, well, thank you very much. Yeah, it was welcome. really, really cool nice seeing to have the you young here. ones. 
we have some riding we're gonna go and um, do next. So yes. I'm looking forward to that. So I'll probably see you around. Absolutely. Um, I hope you all enjoyed seeing the falls, uh, the young horse sections. This is the beginning of the training scale. It all kind of starts here after the breeding and the stallions. Um, so we're gonna be moving on to next onto some riding. So I hope we will see you guys for those videos. But for now, I hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you on the next one. So that's this week's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, then become a member where you can watch hundreds of videos like this, all horse related content, different disciplines, topics, and they're all right there for you to access straight away. So become a member and get full access to the content right now.